So here, we're now looking at my Google Photos account. From the menu, I now have the option to go ahead and share my library, which I'm gonna go ahead and do with my wife, Jess. Importantly, I have complete control over which photos I automatically share. I can share them all, or I can share a subset, like only photos of the kids, or only photos from a certain date forward, like when we first met. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and share all. <laughs> we did not meet today. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. I've now gone ahead and shared my library with my wife, Jess. So let's switch to her phone to see what the experience looks like from her end. She receives a notification, and after accepting, she can now go to see all the photos that I've shared with her, which she can access really easily from the menu. If she sees something she likes, she can go ahead and select those photos and simply save them to her library. We'll even notify her periodically as I take new photos. Now, this is great, but what if Jess doesn't want to have to keep coming back to this view and checking if I shared new photos for her, with her? She just wants every photo I take of her or the kids to automatically be saved to her library, just as if she took the photos herself. With shared libraries, she can do just that, choosing to auto-save photos of specific people. Now, anytime I take photos of her or the kids, without either of us having to do anything, they'll automatically appear in the main view of her app. Let me show you. Now, I couldn't justify pulling the kids out of school today just to have their photo taken, but I do have the next best thing. <laughs> All right. Let me introduce you to Ava and Lily. All righty here. So I'm gonna go ahead, take a photo with the girls. Smile, kids! <laughs> ah, fantastic. And since this is too good of an opportunity, I'm gonna have to take one with all of you here too, all right? There we go. Brilliant. All right. Okay, so thank you, girls. Much appreciated. Back to school we go. <laughs> all right. So, using nothing more than the standard camera app on my phone, I've gone ahead and taken one photo with my kids and one photo with all of you here in the audience. <laughs> Google Photos is gonna back these two photos up, it's gonna share them with Jess, and then it's gonna recognize the photo that has my kids in them and automatically save just that one to her library, like you can see right here. Now finally, Jess and I can stop worrying about whose phone we're using to take the photos. All the photos of our family are in my Google Photos app, and they automatically appear in hers too. And best of all, these family photos are part of both of our search results, and they're included in the great collages, movies, and other fun creations that Google Photos makes for us. But notice how only the photos with the kids showed up in Jess's main view. But because I shared my entire library with her, I can simply go to the menu, and Jess can now see all of the photos, including the one with all of you. And that's how easy sharing can be in Google Photos.